Hello everyone. It is February the 1st, 2021. All for all intents and purposes, it may as well be January the 32nd, because January for all of us has felt like an extremely long month for sure. But let us have a look to the future by looking first at the past. Back in December, I produced a video called The Mini Guide, and this was in collaboration with Team Valley Love Classics, where we looked at both the Mini Saloon and Team Valley Love Classics had a look at the Mini Traveller. If you haven't checked out that video, go and have a look at it. Card will be up here somewhere, probably, I'm not quite sure where. But back in that video, uh, you will have noticed that the Mini had a brand new steering wheel, which of course, if you have a look just behind me, here's the old one. But the Mini has got a new steering wheel and you will not have, well, will not have seen that being fitted to the car prior to that video. And at the time I said, you're going to see this in a future video. Well, February is very much the future of December. So the video is going to be coming up very soon of the Mini and how the steering wheel was fitted to that. I can say it's an absolutely lovely steering wheel. I absolutely love it. The texture of it feels great. It's nice weight as well. It's just fantastic. Uh, also, as well as that, we've got a video having a look at the MOTs and what sort of things your car will be scrutinised when it goes in for an MOT. If you don't live in the UK and don't know what an MOT is, basically it's an annual test to make sure your car is absolutely top notch and not going to be dangerous to anyone anywhere ever. So every year your car goes in, gets checked over, make sure that all the brakes work, the fuel lines are all perfect, just general things like that. And that video is going to go into a lot more depth as to what your car can expect when it goes in for an MOT. Also, following on from our Renault brake issue that we've had for many, many months now. And of course, in January, you will have seen me fixing that, which excellent, it worked. But at the time, the car obviously did not have an MOT. So we're going to be having a look at, obviously, what I did to get the Renault through to the stage of having an MOT, so that's going to be very exciting indeed. But we do have a video coming up, which is, I'm not going to actually sort of say very much about it because it's a little bit of a project behind the scenes of the channel at the minute, and I wouldn't say really it's particularly very video based as it were. So that's really the only hint you're getting, but that will come up some point in February as well. Right, four Fridays in February, that's four different videos mentioned. But before I end this sort of little update video, as it were, which, as with all update videos, is unedited, there's no fancy edits, music, whatever, it's just me talking to you on the camera. I will say before this video ends that Lockdown 3, or at least 3, as it's numbered, it may as well be Lockdown 3000 for all I care at this point, but Lockdown 3 has been very, very difficult for all, uh, us all. And of course, unlike Lockdown 1, where there was that spirit of togetherness and everyone's in it and all this stuff, uh, basically we have come out of it and into Lockdown 3 and it's all very depressing. There's nothing very much to do. The weather's cold. For many people it's snow, which of course means you can build a snowman, which is absolutely fantastic, but for a lot of people it's just cold, miserable, you don't want to go out and do anything. At least with lockdown one, you could sit outside and have a nice cold pint out in the garden, if you even have a garden. For many people, that was also not a case, but they could go to a park and things like that as long as they socially distant. Uh, yeah, those are the facts of things, but lockdown three has been incredibly boring and depressing for us all and i want to take a moment just to say support the creators that are on youtube because many of them are producing content for free just for a bit of fun it might be to keep themselves sane in these unusual times but it also might be just to build something that's quite entertaining for you so feel free to leave the comment well leave a comment leave a like subscribe do all these kind of things even if you really really want to Feel free to financially support your channels that you follow because for many of them it's just as difficult for them as it is for you as well. As I say, this does not mean you necessarily have to financially support these channels and I'm not just talking about the car scene in general here, I'm just talking about the whole of YouTube. It can be gaming, it can be cars, it can be bikes, it can be knitting. Just support the content creators that you follow on YouTube. That's all for this update video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click like, subscribe if you want to see more car-based content in the future. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to seeing. And until the very next video, farewell.